All right, it's been a couple days of videos I've thrown together here. And basically, this truck's been polished up. We weren't expecting it to be perfect, but Rich painted the wheels on it. That looks great. And he's almost got the seat cover in, which also looks great. These saddle blanket type covers on these old trucks are nice. That's for sure. But the guy's here to pick up a step side, flare side F-150 F-Series pickup. And it's always interesting with the transporters. Most up here, you get Russian, Ukrainian type, and they don't speak any English really much. So it's always interesting when they show up trying to communicate. The Mustangs coming up. So this is the flare side that's going out. It's, it's a nice little truck. Didn't take long advertising it. It's going down the road. These 90s era's trucks had the crappiest clear coat, no matter if it was a Ford or a Chevy. They no favorites. They all kind of had crappy paint. The Brits just came up. Probably seen that. Lexus, we just put brand new tires on it. Brand spanking new tires. I already made the video, so, oh well. This is the hottest car that I think I've advertised. I've got people all over this thing, man. They are loving the AMC Eagle 30. Okay, well, so we had a problem with the Hummer, the H3T. And with these H3s, the way the front suspension is, when you lift them, you change the torsion bars. And when you do that just a little bit too much, then you gotta drop the differential down to try and fix it. So, yes. this little kit. This, this cup is so deep, you can see how this piece enters close to the bottom of the cup. Yeah. By, you know what I mean? It's, it's good out that, here, it's yeah. It's a big angle, man. It is. And it goes, especially if you floor it. And you're going to want to talk to Larry. What's the name of that company? Suspension Max. And he's got this kit. 23 and a half inch clearance from the hub to the top of the fender is all you can have. If you got any more than that, you're going to absolutely need this. It's a cool little kit. It drops the differential down about an, about an inch. Uh, it's basically, yeah. You, you, can, you can lift the truck three inches without changing the front suspension if you have that. You can lift the truck three inches without changing the front suspension if you have this kit. And it drops the whole differential down. It's a cool little truck. If anybody's interested, it is for sale. Hey. Are you helping? No. Here's another angle or direction. See the angle of the dangle there. That's troubling. What is? All oh, that rubber is. I have to look at that. Getting that thing pictured. It's actually absolutely almost ready. As is this. But I got some body work to do on the back of this. Um, man, it's a never ending list of stuff. What I need is about two more people. With Rich here, it's been really helpful. So helpful. It's a godsend and he's a great helper. And right hand man, anybody else comes along, he's gonna be telling what to do because the man knows what he's doing. And he's the best friend too. So it's nice to have him around, but even with two of us, I'm on the computer most of the day. Now, even to get out here and make a video takes time. My dad brought this up for me. This was just a security trailer in San Diego for about 10 years. Security trailer, i.e. my house. I lived in this thing for freaking nine or 10 years, man. And that's a big ask for me because I come from having lots of space to do things and plenty of room. This, is, this was not plenty of room. However, for a vacation, it's nice. We're gonna do the fiberglass work back here. I got that coming, and we've got this piece. We'll get it all patched back together. Might have to buy a new piece here. Probably gonna have to grind it out here a little bit where we can get this bad boy shoved in far enough. But that's that. We're gonna have to paint that piece and the piece across the back. Fun times, I tell you, fun times. There goes my dad. I was wondering why the air compressor was on all morning. Well, all morning, the last 20, 30 minutes. Then I realized what we're working on. And I'm gonna go out here and 
show that. So we went over this quite a few times and decided to kind of sketch this down a bit, put it back together with fiberglass, kind of got it all ground out. This is the worst one. And we're gonna piece that back together. We're gonna glue it and then put fiberglass on the back and the front. And these will be pretty simple too. And then probably gonna have to just bite the bullet and mostly repaint this whole back piece or most of it. But that's what's happening. That's all being ground out. We'll see how it turns out. And this will be interesting to push up against and get this far enough in. We're off by about a quarter, three eighths of an inch. All oh, the baby chickens. So these are the baby chickens. I think we got about eight or nine of them. Let's see. You want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Of the chickens. So I got the little cantilever leverage type thing pushing it up here, and you can see that everything is directly in line now. And Rich has been putting glass on it. He's got a 2 by 4 screwed behind here. Yeah. Here and here. To hold this thing straight right now. And... I have a block along the bottom of that to line all that up too right there. Oh, you drilled it in? Yeah. Sweet. Do we put the JD Weld in it? doing, dude? I like this. Like this? You're posing? Yeah. Okay. F100 coming up. Nice day. We got the mini excavator over here. And Vladimir is going to go help. You going to go help Grandpa? Yeah. Okay, come help Grandpa. It's about to get real. It is just going to be getting real. Brand spanking new. Sani SY35U. Diesel. Track. Mini excavator. Oh, big excavator, too. Look at that. Stainless pedals. Let's get up here. Brand new. I don't, I don't think... Oh, they used to be running. It's probably only got six or seven hours on it. Two hours? I think it has two hours now. Okay, well, pretty cool. Air conditioning, man, this is the way to go. Okay, I think I pull this down. Now I'm operational. Is that fun? Now you're a tractor driver now? I feel scary. Scary? When I look big, I see. Okay. So that's the deal. That's the tractor. We're getting some work done on the road below. What are you doing? Are you posing again? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This one we gotta fix. Rich is getting hey. that one fixed. What? No, don't climb on that. I love these old dent side Fords. I had a buddy of mine tell me that this wasn't a F-100. Don't know how he knows that. He looked at a picture. It says F-100. Pretty sure the title does too. Rich has been hard at work on this. Looking good. I might have to grind that one down a little further. Need a can of um, regular Great where you can see what you're doing. Yeah. I still got a lot of post spots I gotta fill. Close, get in there. 